This video will demonstrate how to create a soil sampling operation in the Cirrus program on the iPad. To start the process, I'm going to move down to a particular field level that I want to work with. And at that particular field level, I go into an orange button with the plus sign in it at the bottom. I'm going to click on that. You have the different options. Now you can do soil sampling by zone, soil sampling by grid. This demonstration will be on how to do this soil sampling by a grid. Select that particular option. It lays by default a two and a half acre grid. You can change that down in the bottom of the screen if you so want to, as far as the width, the height, and the amount of cell, age, cell size. So I can also put my finger on the plus sign or on that in the middle of the screen and move that around to get the best fit for the layout that I want on that particular field. Once I would get that in there, I'd hit set grid in the bottom right side. That drops those points per each one of those two and a half acre grid. Then if I want to do a navigation route, I could create the navigation route. If I don't want to do the navigation route and I want to do my own navigation route in the field, I can just hit skip. But in this case, I'm going to click outside the field, connect the dots, so to speak, by pulling my finger across the screen and however it is that you want to create the navigation route. Now, when I hit set route in the top right side, it goes to the very first point and it shows me how many feet I am to that particular point. Now, if I go to settings, you'll notice I've got sample with GPS turned off. That's on, but I've got it turned off because I'm creating this in the office and I'm not in that particular field. So in other words, you could create these ahead of time and have those available to be utilized in the field itself. So I've got, in this case, there are 15 soil samples. So I'm gonna hit that drop point button 15 times. And at the end of it, it's gonna show my 15 points across the field and once it's completed, then I can save that as an actual layer of data. And I can use that now basically to go in the field and as a navigation route. So I'm going to come up here and hit the finish button on the particular top right side. Tie that to whatever I want to call that for the name. I'm just going to take the default, hit save, and that saves that out as a layer of data for the soil sample points. Thank you for watching. And if the video was helpful, I hope you will give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and feel free to share the video with your friends. Have a great day.